I've got a question. Do you want a brownie recipe or do you want a cookie recipe? Or do you want a recipe that combines both of these things in one? Yeah? Good, because that is what we're doing today. This recipe is for birthday brookies. It is our delicious, moist, fudgy, chocolatey brownie studded completely with balls of birthday sprinkly, vanilla-y cookie dough. Oh, and there'll be caramelized white chocolate in there too, obviously. And this is really simple to make. And the first thing that we're gonna do is start by making our cookie dough so that it can chill out in the fridge just for a little bit whilst we make our brownie butter. So first up, starting with 75 grams of really soft unsalted butter. And then we've got 100 grams of soft light brown sugar and 45 grams of caster sugar. Next up, 145 grams of plain flour and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Finally, one whole egg and also one egg yolk. And I'm gonna use my hand whisk to just beat this together for a couple of minutes until it's one smooth, delicious dough. All right, that is our basic cookie dough batter and you can do whatever you like. You can add any kind of chocolate chips, maybe nuts, maybe pretzels, but I want birthday brookies. So for that, I've got 100 grams of white chocolate chips and 40 grams of sprinkles. And of course, a half teaspoon of really good quality vanilla extract. Now we're just gonna give this a really good mix together and then we're gonna use teaspoons to spoon this out into little blobs, kind of about walnut sized. You want approximately 25 to 30 pieces. I'm just popping mine on this nonstick chopping board. You can use a baking tray or a Tupperware, whatever you wanna do. Once they're boiled, we're gonna pop them in the fridge for at least 30 minutes. But if you wanna get prepped, you can do this way ahead of time and leave them in there for a couple of hours. All right, so whilst our birthday balls are hanging out in the fridge, is that, okay, whatever, forget I said that. We're gonna get on with making our brownie. Now I'm making a 10 inch brownie because Dane said he was really hungry and an eight inch wouldn't be enough, but don't worry, I've put the ingredients for a eight inch and a 10 inch in the description box below. Now I've already lined my tin here, just using some spray and some grease proof paper and we are ready to go. So the first thing that you need to do is melt down 220 grams of butter and also dark chocolate. I like to use a 70% for this. I just did it on a bain marie, but you can do it in the microwave too. So we'll just let that cool down for a little bit while we whisk up our eggs and sugar. So starting with 440 grams of caster sugar and four large free range and organic eggs. Always try to bake with room temperature eggs rather than cold eggs because they whip up so much better. And we're gonna mix this with a whisk attachment on a medium to high speed for about one to two minutes until it starts to thicken and go frothy and really pale in color. That is looking amazing. It's kind of crazy. I love eggs and sugar, they just make Magic. It's gonna make this brownie super fudgy, but also a little bit light. So now it is time to add our chocolate and butter. It's cooled down, not completely. It's just not like boiling hot anymore. So we're gonna pour all of this in and then we'll pop the mixer onto the lowest speed and just mix it until it is just combined. Once that's all come together, I'm gonna remove the whisk attachment and then through a sieve, we're gonna add 160 grams of plain flour. 60 grams of cocoa powder, make sure you get a good one, and a half teaspoon of both sea salt and baking powder. Mix that all through, and then I'm actually gonna to switch to my paddle attachment now, um, but you could just mix this through with a spoon if you like, or just stick to the whisk, it really actually doesn't matter. And we're just gonna mix that again on a low speed until it has just come together. And last, but by absolutely no means least, it is caramelized white chocolate time. That, that is this stuff, if you don't know what it is. Maybe if you've never watched our channel before, because we talk about this stuff all the time. And it is basically white chocolate that has been caramelized. Now we've done a couple of videos on different methods of how to do this. If you've got a microwave, I highly recommend doing it in there because it's a whole lot quicker. But if you just like make loads of this at once, you can store it in an airtight container in a cool cupboard and then you've got it for whenever you need it. So. That is my top tip, never be without this stuff. I've got about 150 grams here that I've cut up. Now I'm just gonna add that into the brownie batter and mix it through. Once it's combined, we'll pour all of it into our prepared tin and then use the back of a spoon or a small crank palette knife like this just to spread it out evenly. Now it is time to go back to your fridge and grab our birthday balls and we're gonna drop these into the batter all over it and just gently push them in. Ha! 
How cool is this? I absolutely love it. And I love it even more when it's baked. So that's what we're gonna do now. My oven is preheated to 170 degrees C, which is fan assisted. And we're gonna pop it in for 24 minutes. That's how I like my brownie. I like it to be a little bit gooey when I test it with the skewer. If you like it more cakey, just keep on putting it in. When it comes out, let it cool down, and ideally, you're gonna put it in the fridge for a couple of hours or overnight, because that's gonna help the brownie go like ultra fudgy. So, ooh, don't worry, I made one earlier. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> And here is my already baked and chilled brownie so that we can get on and eat it. So the first thing you need to do is get out of the tin. Now we have these, can I just show you? Does this work? We have these loose bottom tins, right? And I highly recommend them because look, look how easy it is to get out of the tin. If not, if you don't have one, just lift it up using the baking paper. So we'll just then take the base of this off and now it is time to cut it. So using a chopping board and a nice sharp knife, we're gonna cut this up into as many pieces as you want. If you wanna get all precise about it, then use a ruler, but I would recommend giving your knife a wipe down every so often so that it's nice and clean. How freaking cool is this? I absolutely adore adore it and I adore a brownie for many reasons but one of them is that if you like a gooey sticky bit take the middle if you like a more cakey bit get the outside there is something for everybody but unfortunately this is all for me mm. oh man I love the cookie dough I'm gonna eat with my mouth full because it sort of stays a bit like cookie dough it's got the crispy top but then the middle mmm it is like cookie dough It is like magic. You've got the intense, really, really chocolatey brownie, and then the vanilla-y kind of light cookie dough just lifts it all up. Mmm, it's beautiful. I love this so, so much. We actually came up with this because at Crumbs and Doilies, we're just going through a new product development stage of brownies and tray bakes. And this one, I was like, guys, I gotta give this to YouTube already. <laughs> so I hope you love this one. I hope you enjoy baking it. It's something really fun to bake with your kids as well, because it's pretty simple and it doesn't take too long. You don't have to do loads of different stages. Just have a blast making it and let us know what you do. Maybe you make a different kind of cookie dough. Then take your photos, chuck them on Instagram and use hashtag CupcakeGemma so that we can all see them and we can share them about. Remember to come and join us over on Patreon. There's loads of cool stuff over there. You can get the downloadable recipe every single week for every single recipe that we do and loads of extra content. We'll be back next week with a fabulous video for you guys. Dana's like, can you stop already? I gotta eat. Like, honestly. <laughs> I gotta get this away from him. Yeah. See you later, guys. Yeah. No! <laughs>